Hey y'all, welcome to the Clock Tower. I'm Colton, here with Brandon. New 5 Cards 5 Minute series with Slime 2 set to be released in a few weeks. We're talking about rares and double rares. Brandon, what's our first card? First up we have this Shizu. When this card attacks, you can choose one of your other characters, and it gains power equal to the number of other characters you have times 500. When this card becomes reversed during your opponent's turn, you can pay one to rest this card, and at the beginning of your next Encore step, send this card to memory. Power up a different character, have that step over something else to help win board that way. It's a pay one, send a card to memory, but it also then refunds the stock by swinging again on your next turn. Very fantastic card to get out right away at zero, able to keep characters on field and turn that into memory. Exactly what you're looking for for a memory compression deck. Yeah, this will keep something else alive at zero. Helps you beat over your opponent's big level zero stuff. Can even help stuff get reverses at higher levels, depending on what this is swinging into, because you can side this into any zero. The memory compression, obviously important, because it's slime, and slime will always memory compress. A lot of utility here. Really useful memory compression zero in any slime deck. Next, we have this Milam, level 0, 1500 power. If all your characters are Demon Continent, this card gains 2000 power. That's basically everyone you're going to play. At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you can move this card in front of an opponent's character. A ton of level 0 pieces to win early board. Power condition is basically meaningless. All of your characters are going to be Demon Continent characters. The Chaser profile is really strong with Goblin Slayer, and coming into Slime, we're seeing that strength play out as well. Next up, we have this 3 2 Rimuru. When this card is placed onto stage by hand or by this card's effect, you can heal the top card of your clock. This pairs with the choice combo. Pay three, discard one. At the end of this card's attack, as long as Nameless Story is in your climax zone, mill two from the top of your deck. And if both of them are either Demon Continent characters or yellow climaxes, you may choose a character from Waiting Room and put it onto this card's spot on stage. You're able to kind of spam this combo out as long as you're able to continue to pay the condition. You swing with this card, so you're already refunding one back of the stock. You can discard its own card from your hand into waiting room to bring it back out. This card really helps set you up for a very explosive end game. You can use the choice trigger as well when you trigger it to help pay for one of these two effects, either the discard from hand or the stock. Great for closing out games. Yeah, basically, like you said, brings copies of itself onto field. Every time it does, it heals. It can bring another copy of itself on the field. So you can keep this going through potentially up to four copies of this, and then even bring a fifth card onto stage that has potentially even more effects. This is a game-closing combo. It's dependent on building a lot of stock. It's dependent on having a lot of hand. And it's dependent on playing eight choice, which you would want to play anyway because that helps you. If you're fine playing eight choice, this is... One of Slime's best top ends, maybe its best top end. Next, the other 3-2 combo, it's this Milam. If all your characters are Demon Continent, it gains 2,000 power on play heal. Combos with the standby. When it's played, this gains two abilities, both of which are pay twos. The first, when the card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may pay two if you do choose one of these three five events and play it. As long as you meet the level and color requirement, we'll get to that in a second. The other ability, when this card direct attacks, pay two if you do deal two. The event itself reads, if you have a character with Milam in its name, your opponent reveals seven cards from the top of their deck, shuffles their deck, and then places X cards from the top of their deck into clock. X is equal to the number of climaxes among those cards. So basically functions like refresh damage. You take it no matter what and X is equal to the number of climaxes revealed, so it can't be cancelled. This is normally a 3-5 event, which is not even remotely cost-efficient. Being able to play this out of hand for 2 is not bad. Yeah, to be able to play this at a discounted cost, being able to have an attack option at either when your opponent becomes reversed or direct attack, so it's not dependent on having your opponent having characters in field. It can deal damage both ways for the same effectively same cost, being able to deal damage that cannot be cancelled, I think is the strongest thing that this combo has going for it. So the one challenge I see with this is that it's pretty easy to deny on board. It only gets up to about 13 if it has back row power. There's potential here, but it's going to need to consistently reach a high power threshold in order to be playable. And that's it. Thank you for joining us. Brandon will be back on Tuesday with a deck profile. We'll have gameplay for that on Thursday. Till next time, thank you so much for joining us. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. We'll see you then.